let me see here. Can you guys see the screen? Yes. Okay, perfect. All right, guys, I am really sorry about that. Like I said, I have no idea what happened. It just told me that my microphone was no longer working. So I tried to get on my iPad, and that was a really loud noise, and I'm sure you guys didn't want to hear the whole time. So we are going to go ahead and get started. I'm really excited tonight because we are going to be talking about how to build a dream team of your own. I know there's a ton of coaches on here, so I'm excited to give you guys some great tips about how you can create a successful team. Um, it's one thing to add challengers, which we definitely want to have because a lot of our challengers have success and turn into amazing teammates, um, but also for the recruiting part. We want to be able to learn how to actually recruit and get working coaches right off the bat as well. If you are not on mute, if you don't mind, just go ahead and muting yourself. That would be awesome. All right, so first we are going to go ahead and do a few announcements and shout outs. So we have um, some of the top producers, Megan Blinka at 685, Andrea Youngblood at 567, Michael Gowan at 555, Sam Brosnick at 495, Regan Long at 469, Kim Minto at 480, Christy Henniger at 472, Lauren Penrose at 435, Jessica Brennan at 405, Val Augustine at 405, Jade Emhoff at 375, Lauren De Palma at 375, Jill Cleek at 374, Gia Ramos at 350, I'm sorry, 360, Kristen Missimer at 300 and Beth Bird at 300. So, wait. Hold on. Can you figure out how to mute yourself? Perfect. Thank you. Sorry, I know it gets a little confusing, especially if you're on your phone, but it always makes um, a lot of background noise. All right. Some rank advancements. We have Kelly Dougherty as our newest official One Star Diamond. Huge congratulations. We will be celebrating this weekend. Um, Justine Matz Matza, I'm hoping I say that right, is our newest Emerald. And Lauren Blinka wishes another new Emerald on our team. Congratulations, ladies. And we have, so we have Success Club earners. And there are a ton of coaches who are already at Success Club for the entire month. And if you see Megan Plinka, we are not even halfway through the month and she is at Success Club 22. Like, holy crap, she's obviously doing something good over there. Um, if you guys want some tips, um, I think we're going to try to get her on a call here in the next couple weeks. Not that I'm putting any pressure on her right now. <laughs> um, we have Caitlin Holly rocking it at 14 already. Regan Long at 13 and Christy Henniger at 12. Huge congrats. And we still have a lot of coaches who have already hit Success Club 5. So we have Aaron Trail at 9, Misty Valentine at 9, Kelly Dougherty at 8, Michael Gowan at 8, Val Augustine at 8, Cheryl Isola at 8, um, Tara Lorson at eight, Jessica Brennan at eight, Anna Woods at seven, Gia Ramos at seven, Sarah Griffith at six, Rebecca Bennett at six, Lauren Blinka at six, Laura Bird at six, Kim Minto at six, Sam Brosnick at six, Lauren De Palma at six, Rachel Perez at six, Justine Matzik at six, and Jennifer Franklin at six. Way to go. All right, and I am not going to read all of these names off. Please don't think that it's not going to make your special. It's because there are a ton of names, and I know we do not have a ton of time to go through all of these. Guys, please mute yourself. I am so sorry, and I cannot find you guys, and some of them just is not letting me mute you, and I don't know why. Let me see here. All right. Perfect. Thank you. All right. So as you see, there are a ton of names here. If your name is up here, huge congratulations. You are on your way to Success Club for the month. And I know it is very important for you guys, especially if you're working your business and trying to get your business started and growing. 
Um, hopefully you guys are in a cup challenge because that is going to help give you some motivation to keep pushing forward. If you guys are not on this list, please don't think that it's not possible. You have plenty, plenty, plenty of time to make your goals happen. Whether you have a goal of success club five or 10, anybody can be at zero and still get to 10 by, you know, even the end of the week, if you really wanted to. Um, if you guys are new to this and are wondering what the heck are these numbers, what is Success Club? Success Club is showing that you are helping people and that you're changing lives. So Beachbody actually gives you points when you sell challenge packs to customers or when you sell a Shakeology HD to your customers. Um, with a challenge pack, it could be to a coach or a customer. No matter who, how you sign them up, you get two points for each challenge pack. You only get a maximum of two points per person, coach or customer. So if someone gets a challenge pack as a customer and then they sign up as a coach the month later with a challenge pack, they do not get four points. You do not get any extra points, maximum two. So if someone signs up with Shakeology and Home Direct as a customer, you get one point. A month later, say they decide, you know what? I want to get a challenge pack and be a coach. You would get one additional point to get max two points per person. I hope that makes sense. All right, monthly promotions. We have a couple challenge packs that are on sale. Um, we have the new size challenge pack, which is our dancing cardio with Shanti. The challenge pack includes the fitness program, nutrition guide, and Shakeology and Home Direct for $140. Guys, when you're talking to people about getting them started on their journey, always talk up a challenge pack. It gives you everything you need for a healthy lifestyle. And literally, this challenge pack is $10 more than Shakeology itself. So make sure you let them know it's like getting the program for $10. You're saving $70, so it's a great deal rather than getting them separate. All right? And then you also have the size kickstart, which includes the Shakeology and the three-day refresh. And that is on sale for $180. And then the three-day refresh challenge pack is on sale for $140. All right. And I know I started to talk a little bit about the cup challenge. As I said, guys, we're halfway through the month almost. Um, you have plenty of time. I know a lot of people are on a cup team. You're making huge goals. This is your chance to really focus in. If you can give 30 days or 31 days all you got, you have so much time to build momentum and start building your team. And it's just a great opportunity for you to really take advantage of and to get your team motivated um, to start building your business. And if you haven't seen, there are individual prizes and team prizes that you can earn as you guys are earning success club points and cup challenge points, which is one point per challenge or one point for success club point equals one point for a cup challenge point. Um, so you can take a look at the tier prizes. And I know there's a lot of people that are already getting some prizes. So you get some selfie sticks, which everyone wants a beach body selfie stick. I mean, that's pretty awesome. Um, a limited edition size hat. <clears throat> you can get a men's or women's size um, apparel t-shirt. Um, there's plenty, plenty of opportunities for you. So make sure if you maybe haven't had the momentum or you were on vacation or you had something going on and you haven't been giving it your all, now is the time. Start today. Don't wait until tomorrow. Don't wait until Monday after the weekend. Start today and give it your all and see what you can do. At least do you know at the end of the month, you can say you have given it all you got and there was nothing left to give and you can be proud of your success and what you've done with your own business. All right, guys. I don't know if you saw my post that I just did a little bit ago, but this just excites me so, so much. Like I look the way I do with... <laughs> like crap because I have been crying with excitement today. So one of our coaches, one of our diamond coaches, Aaron Trail is our very first coach on our team who has been not a $500 winner. We've had four of those and she was one of them, but a $2,000 Beachbody winner. Um, this happened today. She actually earned two $1,000 Beachbody challenges. One of them was the overall health transformation. Um, this is really, really, really exciting. This is something that we want to talk up as coaches. Um, people think that, you know, oh, we're just here to sell products and you're just here to make it known that you're Beachbody. You know what? 
Yes, we are because we know the products work and we show that by these transformations. But it's not just the transformations. Like Beachbody is giving us something in return for being healthy. They don't have to give us money for being healthy and for using their products. Absolutely not. I mean, they're already paying us for being coaches, but now they're paying us also to have transformations like this. And Aaron had a goal. I don't know if you guys have saw my post, but Aaron and I went to high school together and really did not hang out. We may, I don't think we've ever had a conversation really. Um, but we connected through her husband and she's a nurse and a mom. So we have a lot in common to begin with, but she was looking for a start to her transformation. So her husband told her to contact me and I got her in a challenge group and she started her transformation. And then soon after she was helping other people while she was on her journey, she was not at her goal weight, but she made a, a goal that she was going to lose 75 pounds in a year. And her year just came up and she literally reached her goal of 75 pounds. And at Summit this past month, when myself and Megan were at the Elite Night, um, we were looking at all the transformation pictures and someone came up, the person who worked at Beachbody came up to us and said, have you guys been putting in your updated Beachbody transformations? And I'm like, no, I thought you could only win once. So as soon as they said, no, you keep putting that in because there's always new winners. Like they, they build upon what you've already put in. So guys, if you don't know that now, continue putting in your results because there's still chances for you to win. So I ran to Erin because she's the first person I thought of with her amazing transformation after she just lost her 75 pounds. And I'm like, girl, you need to go put in your new transformation because you are going to win some money. And that is exactly what she did. And right after she did, she got her little email and she sent it to me today and it said that you have won $2,000. I just had to share that with you guys because I am so, so, so happy for her. Um, she's just done an amazing job. She's an amazing person. Nobody deserves it more than her. So congratulations. And also I want to give another congratulations. I didn't make a slide for this, but so I wanted to let you guys know that with our team, like we are a pretty awesome team, I, I do have to admit, um, although we are part of the number one team in the entire company, which is my upline coach, Melanie, and my cousin, um, we also, without having, I mean, we've had Melanie's coaching, but take us to just forever fit. Guys, we officially, as of today, are ranked 131 out of 360,000 people. Like that is pretty, pretty amazing. And I wanna give a huge shout out because this is the first time I've been able to do this, but we have, okay, one, two, three. We have four coaches on our team that are in the top 50 of the East region out of the entire 360,000 coaches out of the Northeast region. We have four coaches. So myself is at 131. Huge congratulations to Regan Long. She is at 112. We have Sarah Griffith at 186, and Megan Blinka is at 250. So amazing, amazing job. They are obviously growing amazing teams. Um, they have grown a great culture for their team, and they are just amazing people. So congrats, congrats, congrats. I can't say it enough. It's just been a great day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I am going to get into the nitty gritty here, and I am going to talk to you guys about building your own dream team. All right, so power prospecting. This is a term that is used when you are ready to build a team of rock stars, which is going to lead you to successful growth. I did not mean to write successful growth and success. It is going to help you lead to success and growth, all right? So I'm going to give you guys a couple facts, and I want you to write these down. The more people you talk to, the faster you are going to grow. And I know it sounds like, okay, I already know this, but I want you to really put it in the back of your head and start using this, okay? Put it into action. The more people you talk to, the faster you will grow, all right? The more practice you get, the more confident you become. 
when your confidence increases, so do your odds. All right. So your odds for finding new challengers and your rock star coaches that are going to be on your team. So a lot of coaches, when they first get started, they think, oh my gosh, I am afraid that I'm going to be selly. And I, I want to touch base on this because I went through that. I felt the same thing. You know, I didn't want to invite people, especially that I didn't know, because um, when you talk to someone that you have no idea who they are and you're inviting them, of course, you're going to sound like a salesperson, right? Not true. Not true at all. So we are not selling. I don't want you guys to sell. We are not salespeople. The selling is done by the transformations like Aaron, like I just posted by sharing your story and your journey. All right. I want you guys to think of it as you are sharing and inviting versus selling. So I want you guys to think about, you know, a server at a restaurant, they're offering you coffee. When you say no, they're not going to get offended. What are they going to do? They're going to go to the next person and they're going to offer it to them. And they're not going to just give up because two people or five people say no. They're going to keep going around to every single table, to every person, and they're going to offer them coffee until someone is ready and someone says yes. So I want you guys to start taking the emotion out of your inviting. And I, and I know that's like, okay, but I thought we're supposed to put emotion into it. I want you to put emotion into sharing your story and be passionate when you're talking about your business but take the emotion out of the inviting because if you do, it's going to end up making you feel defeated when you put emotion into it and you take offense to people saying no, you're going to think, okay, well I've just invited five people and they all said no. So I must be doing something wrong and I'm not going to do it anymore. And I don't want you guys to do that. This is part of a business. This is part of you growing. Okay. We all go through the no's. Um, we all have to get no's before we get yeses. So when people say no or they ignore you, it's not because it's something that you did. It's because it's just not their time. They're just not ready. And some of you can maybe look at that from your own perspective as joining a challenge group or becoming a coach. You may have turned your coach down a time or two. I know I turned mine down three times before I was ready to commit. All right. She didn't beg me. She just said, hey, is this something that you want to do? I said, no, I don't have time. I'm a nurse. I'm a new mom with a one-year-old and I'm in school with my master's classes. I don't have time for that. But you know what? The more I continued with my journey, um, I, I saw that there was maybe a light at the end of the tunnel, that there was something potentially that can be awesome for me if I, you know, took that leap of faith and decided to help somebody. So you know, we cannot let it stop us from helping other people because there are so many other people that are waiting for us and they're waiting for our help. All right. So just because a couple people say no, doesn't mean you give up on the other people that are waiting for you. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to talk now about the three C's and this is what your prospects can be. They can be one of these three C's. Number one, they can be a consultant or a coach, which is what we are in our business, where you bring someone on to help them build their own business. All right. They can be number two, a customer where they're just enjoying the programs and the products. They're in our challenge group. Um, they're loving everything we have to offer. And number three, a connector. And I feel like this is where a lot of people fall short because they're afraid of sounding silly but a connector or a referral is also what we call it is just someone who may not be interested themselves. But if you let them know that even though you're not interested, if you know of anyone who might be, maybe you can give them my name. Those are the people that are going to connect you with somebody else. And I cannot tell you how many people have built a successful business and have had amazing rock star coaches on their team because someone connected them to that person. So there are some goals that um, I want you guys to do. And it's reaching out to five new people a day. And I know sometimes we feel like we don't have that time. But reaching out to five new people a day does not mean you have to spend an hour every single day talking to five people. Literally, 
there are so many different ways that you can reach out to people. So I'm going to let you know how you can find people, how you can find these find these five people every single day. Um, because really there's no excuse that you cannot find five people a day. And I know a lot of people say, okay, I ran out of my Facebook friends or I don't know who to invite. I don't live around people. We don't have a lot of people that, you know, are in our area. Bull crap. I mean, that may be true, but bull crap. You can still find people because you know what? Um, look at this world. I guarantee you. And I've probably said this on a call. You got your phone by you, social media, you have a phone book, you have friends and family in your phone, you got your Facebook, you got your Twitter, you got your Instagram, you got your Pinterest. Come on, there's people everywhere and everyone is on social media. You cannot say that you have literally went through every single person you know and invited them to your coaching opportunity or challenge group. I'm not going to admit that I have went through everyone because I have not. All right. So some ways to reach out to people. Where do you find them? revisit your customers. All right. Ask if they're loving the products. Don't say, do you like the products? Be confident and ask them how they are loving the products and let them know that if they are loving them, you know, why don't you sign up as a discount coach or a coach? You can get a great discount that I do. Plus you have the opportunity to earn money. Don't be afraid to say that there's people that are waiting to earn money. There are people wondering how can I afford a couple extra dollars a month to get groceries or to pay for my kids daycare or maybe I just want a little extra money so I can you know continue my hobby of shopping for Michael Kors and you know all those fancy things Nike tennis shoes and Victoria's Secret sports bras because I like to spend my extra money on that so maybe there's other people that want to as well I'm sure there are all right revisit your past prospects so I never cross out my nose that I've invited before. Simply, I just place them aside. I have my notebook. I don't cross them out unless they already have a coach, all right? Or they are a coach themselves. Other than that, I leave their name blank because I'm going to go back to them later. A few months later, weeks later, I will just follow up and say, hey, how's your journey going? How are your results coming along? Because obviously they didn't join you because they thought they could do it on their own or they weren't ready. So revisit them and ask them, how are you doing on your journey? And they're probably going to tell you that they're not reaching their goals or that they may need a little help. And this is just a way for you to step in and invite for an opportunity to join your challenge group and let them know that you are here to help them. Um, also a great time to go through your prospect, your past prospects is when a new launch comes out like size or the performance line or you know, any new product that we have. Um, if you have a new coach training that's coming out, you can tell them that you have a new coach training. You're looking for coaches who have a passion for fitness and helping others. Um, look for people that are like you and tell them the good characteristics and qualities that they have as a coach to give them confidence that this is something that they can do. All right. <clears throat> All right. Number three, go through your phone and your Facebook contacts. This is simple. All right, just go through your phone. I'm sure you have people that you have not invited yet and just start a conversation with them. It doesn't have to be directly, hi, so-and-so, do you want to join my fitness challenge group? No, ask them how they are. Make a conversation. For the most part, someone's going to ask you how everything is going too, or they're going to ask you how your job is going, or they're going to say, I noticed you were doing this. Tell me more about it. Um, this is just a way for you to invite them to know more about the opportunity and what you're doing. And if they don't, ask them. Tell them what you're doing and ask them if they wouldn't mind hearing about what you're doing. All right, number four, life, oh, I didn't write that down. Lifestyle networking, and this is kind of like going through your phone and your Facebook, but it's just looking for different ways to engage in a conversation. So when I start talking to people, I am asking them how their kids are. I will start talking about their kids. I will talk about their job and how that's going. Um, just whether they're in school, so many different ways, a hobby that they have. There are so many different things that you can just start up conversation. Um, people do it all the time. And what's the worst that can happen is they're going to ignore you and be stuck in the same place you started. It's really not a big deal. <laughs> it's not. All right. But remember, what's the best thing that can happen is you're going to spark someone's interest and you're going to help them. 
and that life is going to be changed. And then they can change lives. And then it's just one big, happy, life-changing experience for everybody. All right. The next one, parties. So shake and share. You can host shake and shares. Whether, and I don't know if some of you guys have heard that or not, but this is a great idea. I've done it before. It worked out really well. Um, whether you want to get another coach who's going to do it with you or you want to do it by yourself, have your family and friends over and set up a Shakeology bar where you can make a few Shakeology samples. Um, you can make some no-bake cookies. You have some trifold Shakeology trifold pamphlets set out, which I don't know if you guys have seen them or not, but like you can get them in the back office. It tells you about Shakeology, the ingredients, the health benefits. When people see that it's more than just a weight loss shake or a protein shake, people get interested. Talk about the nutrition. I don't need, we don't need you to talk about each ingredient and what it does. Maybe get familiar with a few, but just talk about how it changed you and how your journey has been with it. All right. Set out some programs that you have. Talk about the fitness part. Talk about the nutrition part. And then talk about your challenge groups and how they can help other people. All right. Different types of parties. If you're at a party, <laughs> this is a perfect opportunity for you to talk to other people, whether you're at a wedding, um, whether you're just at a neighborhood party, wear your beach body shirt, talk about it. Take your Shakeology cup with your water, you, there aren't, or your shake, or your water, whatever you wanna use. Anyways, take everything with you. Let them know what you're doing. It's just a perfect way for people to ask you, what, what is this shirt that you're wearing? Tell me about this 21 day fix or I've seen that on an infomercial. Is that real? And you can be like, heck yeah, it is. Like, let me tell you about it. So go to parties and take the stuff with you. <laughs> All right. Social media, three to five times a day. This is what we're talking about posting. This is where you're sharing. All right. This is where you can invite on social media, but don't just talk about beach body all the time. So just a couple things you can do some motivational, inspirational post, spiritual, um, business, obviously beach body. So clean eating fitness. If you're doing your workouts, post about your workouts. If you're, if you have a clean eating recipe that you thought was really good that you had for your family, Post about it. Share the recipe. Get people interested. Recipes are one of the biggest things that has attracted others to me, my blog, my Pinterest, that I have gotten to help me build a team. Um, talk about your family. Talk about hobbies. Anything that you are passionate about, that's what you share. All right. Make sure that you're, you're like an open book. And I know that's scary, but kind of be like an open book and Share who you are because that's when people will relate and connect with you more. And then at the end of the day, when they're ready to start, they're going to come to you rather than someone else because they can connect with you. Another way with the social media is doing shout outs to your coaches, to your challengers on your Facebook, um, and also welcome your new coaches to your team. So if you, if you sign up a new coach, Welcome them on your regular Facebook page. Maybe say a little blurb about them or, you know, if you don't know them really well, just welcome them and ask them if they can, if you can use a picture of them to um, let, let everyone know that they're now a coach on your team. Um, that just shows your progress in your team and your growth. All right. Let me see here. Events, weddings. That was another one that I was going to talk about weddings. And Kelly is one of those. Kelly, our newest one star. She is a one star because she has a diamond coach, Kim. They met at a wedding. They did not know each other before the wedding. That's what I took it as on her call earlier, right? But yeah, it's pretty awesome how you can go to events and just spark up a conversation and great things can happen out of it. <clears throat> All right, traveling on an airplane. Some of you guys travel wherever you're at, even if you're at a grocery store, but if you're on an airplane and you're wearing your stuff and you're reading your personal development book and the person next to you is like, oh, what are you reading? Or, oh, what's that? Oh, it's my Beachbody stuff. I'm traveling for a business trip and this is what I do. And then you can get their information and talk more about them. Talk about your business. All right, creating lists. And I know with the Beachbody Cup Challenge, 
I was telling people about inviting 200 people going for no twice. Whether you guys have done that or not, if you haven't, I'm giving you another chance, all right? So when I talk about this, this is what I actually want you all to do. I am challenging you guys. So grab a pen and paper, and I want you guys to write down any name that comes to your mind. I want you to go through your yearbook, go through invitation lists, go through phone books, any places that you go, whether it's a doctor's office. You best believe that I've reached out to people at my doctor's office or pediatrician's office, chiropractor, um, bank. Yes, I have one of my bankers following me on Instagram. Um, kids events, their teachers. Anywhere you go, talk to them, invite them, put their name on that list and get to them. All right, so I'm gonna challenge you to put 200 names down. So when you're thinking of these names, I want you guys to think unlimited. I don't want you guys to think that you have to beg or chase anybody. Um, we're looking for people that are like us, all right? They're, we're looking for people um, that want to do what we do and that are passionate, but I don't want you guys to overthink it. Think about this. Everyone deserves an opportunity, whether it's to be in a challenge group, whether it's to earn extra income. So once you create your list, I want you guys to start thinking like a CEO because every single one of you are a CEO of your entire business. So when you go through your list, I want you guys to star your top 20 people of your dream team candidates. All right. And these are the people that in your wildest dreams will join you and join your team. So I want you guys to start thinking of the most well-connected and motivated influencers. This is your top 20 dream team. All right. I just wanted to make sure I didn't have any more slides there. So when you're thinking of these people, I don't want you to prejudge them. That is the worst, worst thing you can do. Um, a lot of people prejudge about not having time, the other people not having time, not having enough money to get started or just not having a passion for it. You do not know anyone else's hopes and dreams and desires. And think about this. You do not want anyone prejudging you. So why would you prejudge them? You cannot do that. All right. Go with an open mind and just think about the people that you want on your team, no matter what. All right. Start reaching out to people. And I want you guys to make this your daily thought. Sharing five contacts a day keeps leads coming your way. All right. Five contacts a day will keep leads coming your way. And that is so true. As long as you are talking to people, you are building a business. So keep your mind and your mouth open and your business will be open. It will be successful. You guys will have an amazing, successful team. All right. Chatty Kathy's done. Do you guys have any questions, thoughts, concerns? Feel free to unmute yourself and talk away. I do. Who was that? Um, is the fix really off sale tomorrow? Yeah, I knew it was you. <laughs> is the fix really off sale tomorrow? The fix hasn't been on sale for a couple days from what I saw. I thought it was the 14th. I thought it was the 12th. <laughs> oh, maybe I'm wrong then. Okay. I know on the 12th they took it off because it was 160. Oh, okay. Good to know. Thank you. Kim. Yes. Isn't it an amazing book? That was from one chapter. Rock Your Network Marketing Business by Sarah Robbins. Chapter five. Yep. It's amazing. And you know what, guys? That's what's amazing about building a team because I don't think of this on my own. Did it sound like I did? Kim, you totally just took it away from me. I didn't think of it on my own. <laughs> it's called personal development. If you do your personal development, you will come up with like the craziest and best ideas. <laughs> and it's really awesome because you know what? It gets you motivated and confident and excited about growing an amazing dream team. All right. Any other questions? 
No? All right. I hope you guys were able to take away some good pointers and can share this with your own team and start rocking it. Okay, don't start. Keep rocking it. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you have a great night, and we will talk to you next week. Bye.